Have you ever wondered how a small group of exiles managed to rebuild a nation? The Book of Ezra tells this incredible story. To truly grasp the magnitude of this feat, we must first step back into the annals of history. The Babylonian exile, a pivotal period in Jewish history, saw the destruction of the first temple in Jerusalem and the mass deportation of the Jewish people to Babylon. This was a time of despair and loss, a chilling reminder of the consequences of disobedience. Yet even amidst this gloom a glimmer of hope remained. Fast forward to around 538 years before the birth of Christ. Enter Cyrus the king of Persia. In an unprecedented move he issued a decree allowing the Jews to return to Jerusalem and rebuild their temple. This was not just a political maneuver but a pivotal moment in the divine narrative. The return to Jerusalem was not merely a physical journey but a spiritual sojourn. It was about restoring a nation, a faith, a covenant with God. And so, the Jewish exiles embarked on this journey, armed with nothing more than their faith and the promise of their God. The era was fraught with political, social and religious dynamics that influenced this journey. On the political front the shifting powers and alliances of the ancient Near East played a crucial role. Socially, the exiles faced the daunting task of integrating with the people who had remained in the land, and religiously, they grappled with maintaining their faith and identity in a world that was vastly different from what they had known. This historical backdrop sets the stage for the Book of Ezra. It gives us a glimpse into the challenges faced by the returning exiles, the obstacles they overcame, and the faith that sustained them. It provides context for the rebuilding of the temple, the restoration of a nation, and the rekindling of a covenant with God. In the face of adversity, the Jews began their journey back home, setting the stage for one of the greatest restoration stories in history. This is where our exploration of the Book of Ezra begins. Imagine the daunting task of rebuilding a city from ruins, that's exactly what the Jews faced upon their return to Jerusalem. After years in Babylonian exile they were returning to a city that was a mere shadow of its former glory. The once magnificent Temple of Solomon was now a pile of rubble, and the city's walls lay in ruin. The challenges were immense, and the task ahead was monumental. In the face of these daunting circumstances, two figures emerged as leaders of the reconstruction effort, Zerubbabel and Joshua. Zerubbabel, a descendant of King David, was appointed as the governor of Judah. Joshua, the high priest, was the spiritual leader. Together they took on the Herculean task of rebuilding not just the physical structures but the morale and faith of the people. The first order of business was the reconstruction of the temple. This was more than a physical undertaking, it was a spiritual journey. The temple was the heartbeat of Jewish faith and identity, its rebuilding was a symbol of returning hope and divine favor. Under Zerubbabel's leadership, the foundation was laid amidst a mix of joyous celebrations and lamentations from the elders who remembered the former temple. As the temple began to take shape, opposition arose. Adversaries from surrounding nations attempted to thwart their efforts, causing the work to come to a standstill for many years. Yet this pause was not a defeat. Instead it became a period of spiritual growth and renewed commitment. Once the work resumed, Joshua took center stage. He led the people in re-establishing the religious laws and rituals, ensuring that the restored temple would be a place of sincere worship, not just an architectural marvel. The challenges were many, and the journey was fraught with obstacles. Yet under the leadership of Zerubbabel and Joshua, the Jews persevered. They rebuilt their city, restored their temple, and rekindled their faith. Despite the enormous tasks ahead, the Jews persevered, demonstrating their unwavering faith in God. The Book of Ezra is a testament to their resilience and a shining example of faith in action. It serves as a reminder that with God even the most daunting tasks can be accomplished. Behind every great achievement lies a guiding force. In the case of the Jews returning from Babylonian captivity, this force was divine. The Book of Ezra unveils a compelling narrative of divine orchestration, where God, the Grand Conductor, sets the stage for the return and rebuilding of Jerusalem. The symphony of restoration commenced with a decree from Cyrus the king of Persia, who was moved by God to allow the Jews to return to their homeland. This was no coincidence but rather a clear manifestation of divine influence at play. Imagine the magnitude of the task at hand, a city in ruins, a temple destroyed, a faith tested. Yet, in the face of adversity, the Jews found strength not in their own abilities but in the divine guidance of God. It was he who stirred the hearts of kings and leaders inspiring them to support the rebuilding efforts. 
Even more miraculous was the provision of resources. From timber to precious metals, everything the Jews needed to rebuild the temple was provided, a testament to God's unending provision. Central to this divine guidance was the role of Ezra, a scribe and a priest, who led the people spiritually. Ezra was not only instrumental in the physical rebuilding of the temple, but he was also pivotal in the spiritual restoration of the Jews. He taught them the laws of God, instilling in them a renewed commitment to their faith. Ezra's leadership and the divine interventions that characterized the return and rebuilding process were not mere historical events. They serve as powerful reminders of God's active involvement in the lives of his people, his unwavering commitment to their restoration, and his ability to use ordinary people to accomplish extraordinary things. Indeed, the journey of the Jews from exile to restoration was not walked alone. They were guided every step of the way by a divine compass steering them towards their goal. God's hand was evident in every step, guiding the Jews towards their goal of restoration. This divine guidance, a beacon of hope in the midst of adversity, remains a timeless testament to the enduring power of faith in God's promises. The book of Ezra isn't just a historical record, it's a manual for faith and obedience. As we journey through the vivid narratives we start to uncover the profound lessons of faith and obedience that are woven into the fabric of the story. Let's start with Zerubbabel and Joshua, two figures who stand as pillars of courage and resilience. Despite the monumental task of rebuilding the temple they remain steadfast, not wavering in their faith or their commitment to God's command. Their obedience is not a blind compliance but a conscious choice rooted in their trust in God's promises. The story of Ezra himself is a testament to the power of dedication and obedience. As a scribe and a teacher of the law, his life is a reflection of his unwavering commitment to God's word. He doesn't just teach the law, he lives it, embodying the principles he imparts to others. His life serves as a reminder that obedience to God's law is not a burden but a path to a life of fulfillment and peace. Then we see the people of Israel. Despite the hardships they encounter they remain faithful, obediently following the path laid out for them. Their story is one of unwavering faith in the face of adversity, a faith that is rewarded with the restoration of their nation and their faith. These narratives are not just historical accounts, they're lessons, timeless and universal, speaking to us across the centuries. They remind us of the importance of steadfastness, of holding firm in our faith even when faced with challenges. They teach us the value of obedience, of aligning our actions with God's commands, trusting in His promises, and believing in His plan for us. And so, as we navigate our own journeys, these lessons serve as our compass, guiding us towards a life of faith and obedience. They remind us that faith is not just about believing in God, but trusting in His promises. And obedience is not just about following rules, but aligning our lives with God's will. Ezra teaches us that even in the face of adversity, faith and obedience are our guiding lights. The lessons from Ezra are timeless, resonating even in our lives today. The themes of restoration, faith, and obedience that emerge from this ancient narrative are not confined to the walls of history. They are living principles, as relevant and applicable today as they were in the days of Ezra. Consider the theme of restoration. Just as the Jewish exiles returned and rebuilt their temple, we often find ourselves in need of personal restoration. Life's challenges can leave us feeling exiled from our own sense of peace and purpose. But just as the Jews rebuilt their temple, we too can rebuild our lives brick by brick with patience, perseverance, and divine guidance. Then there's the theme of faith. Amidst adversities, the Jews remained steadfast, trusting in God's promises. Similarly, we encounter numerous challenges in our personal lives. These moments test our faith, inviting us to trust in a higher power, to believe in the unseen and to hold on to hope even when the odds seem stacked against us. Lastly, the theme of obedience is a call to action. Ezra's dedication to teaching the law exemplifies this. In our lives, obedience might translate to living in alignment with our values, honoring our commitments, and making decisions that reflect our highest selves. The book of Ezra challenges us to pursue God's purposes with unwavering commitment and trust. As we journey through the book of Ezra, we uncover a treasure trove of wisdom. From the historical backdrop to the divine guidance, the lessons of faith and obedience and its enduring relevance, the narrative of Ezra offers valuable insights. It reminds us of the importance of restoration, the power of unwavering faith, and the certainty of divine provision. The book of Ezra continues to illuminate our paths and inspire our hearts, 
reminding us of the enduring power of God's love and grace.